let's discuss the rates of chemical reactions and the rate laws we use to describe them. If we monitor the characteristics of a system during a reaction, we'll see them change as a function of time. Measurements like this are used to investigate reaction kinetics, how concentrations change with time, and reaction dynamics, how reactions happen. By studying kinetics, we can determine the elementary steps that make up the mechanism of a reaction. A reaction mechanism is a set of elementary steps. For instance, we can measure the pressure as a function of time. Let's take as an example the reaction of ammonia plus carbon dioxide to make ammonium carbamate. We open a valve to introduce these two gases into an evacuated glass bulb. The pressure jumps as we open and close the valve. The two gases begin to react as they mix. Once the gas phase is homogeneously mixed, the pressure follows an exponential decay. This is confirmed by observing that a plot of the log of pressure versus time is linear. This is indicative of what we call first order kinetics. This is rather remarkable, but the observation of simple kinetics from complex reactions is a com common phenomenon. This is easily explainable once we understand the dynamics of the reaction. The formation of ammonium carbamate from ammonia and carbon dioxide is a composite reaction with a well-defined rate determining step or RDS. An elementary step or elementary reaction is a one-step reaction involving breaking and making of one or two bonds. An example of this is the adsorption of CO2 out of the gas phase onto the surface of the glass bulb or reaction chamber. This adsorption process is an elementary reaction and it acts as the rate determining step, the step with the greatest control over the reaction kinetics. It is the step for which a change of its kinetic parameters would have the greatest influence over the overall rate of reaction. What do we mean by reaction rate? For a reaction such as this one that we're looking at, the formation of ammonium carbamate, we could consider the rate of change of ammonia concentration or the rate of change of the CO2 concentration or the rate of change of the amount of ammonium carbamate. All of these could be considered, but all of them would have different values because of the stoichiometry of the reaction. Indeed, the rate of CO2 disappearance would be half that of ammonia. And the rate of ammonium carbamate formation has the opposite sign to that of the reactants. Because of this, we define the rate mathematically as the rate of change of concentration divided by the stoichiometric coefficient of that particular species. This gives us one rate, R, for the entire reaction. The rate of reaction, R, is the rate of change in the concentration of a hypothetical product that has a stoichiometric coefficient of 1. The reaction rate is always positive. An example of an elementary reaction is that of nitric oxide plus ozone to make NO2 plus O2. This reaction occurs when NO strikes ozone. A partial bond is formed between the nitrogen of the NO and one of the oxygen atoms in, in O3. Simultaneously, the bond of that oxygen atom with another oxygen atom in the ozone is starting to break. The reaction has a molecularity of two. The molecularity is the number of collision partners in the step. Common values of the molecularity are one, a unimolecular reaction, or two, a bimolecular reaction. A molecularity of three or common is, is extremely uncommon. 
especially for gas phase reactions. The rate law for this elementary reaction is the rate of reaction is equal to K, the rate constant, times the concentration of NO times the concentration of O3. The rate constant is a positive number and its units depend on the reaction order as well as the pressure or concentration units that are used. Let's look a little bit more closely at this rate law and define what we call the reaction order. You'll see the exponents here. Those exponents are the reaction, the partial reaction order of NO is one. It's, this reaction is first order with respect to NO concentration. It's also first order with respect to O3 concentration. We add those two partial reaction orders to get the overall reaction, over, reaction order of two. This, the reaction is second order overall, first order with respect to NO, and first order with respect to ozone. For an elementary reaction, the order of reaction is always the same as the molecularity. The partial order with respect to a specific reactant is the same as the stoichiometric coefficient and products do not appear in the rate equation. Most elementary reactions have a molecularity of one or two. First order and second order rate equations are the most commonly encountered for elementary reactions. Under certain circumstances, when a reaction occurs from a non-depleting reservoir, such as evaporation from a bulk liquid, an elementary reaction may exhibit zeroth order kinetics, that is, no dependence of the rate on concentration. A composite reaction is a reaction with a mechanism that involves two or more elementary steps. Neither the reaction order nor the partial orders with respect to any reactant or product of a composite reaction can be read from the stoichiometric equation. When fractional orders arise or when products appear in the rate law, you can be sure that the reaction mechanism is complex and or that it, the system does not possess a well-defined rate determining step. An example of a composite reaction is the decomposition of N2O5 into NO2 and O2. Under certain uh, conditions, it's found to be first order, to follow a first order rate law. We can conclude that this reaction must be a composite reaction because the partial order in this case does, with respect to N2O5 concentration, is not the same as its stoichiometric coefficient. A good clue that this reaction is complex is that the reverse reaction has a molecularity of five. If a reaction is elementary in one direction, it must be elementary in the reverse direction. This is, a re this is related to the principle of microscopic reversibility, which we will discuss later on.